Hey everyone, I'm Ornella Hernandez with Web3 TV and today I am in Paris at Paris Blockchain Week event. I am here with Gucci, who is the co-founder and CEO of Quidax. How are you today? I'm very well, thank you. How are you doing? I'm well. Is this your first time at Paris Blockchain Week? Yes, it is. It's my first time I'm part of it. And how are you liking it so far? Oh, it was an interesting event. Um, good people, very good vibes. And where are you coming from? Uh, we're coming from Lagos, Nigeria, the best city in the world. I've never been, so I'll have to check it out before I, I come to that conclusion. <laughs> All right, so Buji, tell me a little bit more about Quidax and what your mission is and what you're doing here at the conference. Um, so Quidax, our vision is to create a world where sending money and value around the globe is as easy as sending a text message, right? Um, and for us, the easiest way to get there is through cryptocurrencies. So we made it our mission to make it insanely easy for businesses and individuals in Africa to buy and sell crypto using the local currency. Okay. So is it comparable to other exchanges out there like Bybit or Coinbase? Yeah, um, very much like Coinbase. Sometimes we think of ourselves as a Coinbase for Africa, right? Um, because even when you look at Coinbase's um, vision and mission, it, it kind of aligns, right? And for us, is how do we make it easy for Africans to interact with the rest of the world financially, right? Um, and so that that's really what we were about. And what are the the current issues that you are trying to solve? What it what why are Africans having uh, problems connecting with the rest of the world? Um, I think for a very long time, uh, maybe the rest of the world hasn't seen Africa as a very viable market, right? And I'll give you an example. So um, every time, it has happened to me three years in a row now, so I'm no more guessing. Every time I want to pay for FIFA, right, um, my cards don't work, right? And I'm, I'm somewhat privileged because I have a local Nigerian card. I have a US dollar denominated Nigerian card. And then I also have a card from a UK bank, right? Um, but all of those cards don't work for two reasons. Either I am Nigerian, so the Nigerian cards don't work, or I'm in Nigeria, right? Um, maybe because of fraud issues and all of that, right? But what this means is that every time I want to buy a game from PlayStation, I have to, that means me using USDT, going to Bitrefill to buy a gift card, and then going to buy that game on PlayStation, right? Um, what it has done is excluded me and a lot of people from easily accessing stuff, right? So if we want to do it, we really have to go and find some other hacky walk around, you know, to get to the service, right? But those type of exclusions is what we face every day. And then um, you have a world where Africans just don't communicate with the rest of the world financially. I mean, the internet has made it easier so we can send you a WhatsApp. I can send you a WhatsApp. Um, I can send you an iMessage. It's easy for us to communicate, right? But financially, it's tough, right? So building a world where it's easy for us to access services, um, to talk to people financially, right? So those are some of the problems that we are really solving. Okay, and why is crypto and blockchain a solution to that? Crypto is a game changer, right? Um, couple of things right um so number one it's easy for me to send you funds wherever you are um in the world at the same exact so if i'm sending money from nigeria to us or kenya to ukraine it's the exact same time right with cryptocurrency um the barrier to entry is very low right of course as a platform we'll do kyc but you don't have to do kyc bring your father's maiden name, bring your mother's uh, birth certificate and all of that stuff to get simple access to financial service, right? Uh, and then one of the interesting features of crypto is that you can actually own it, right? So um, Bitcoin is one of the few currencies you can actually own. And then for climates where things are very volatile, if you understand what I mean, that's very important, right? Um, and then the third one is ease of access to foreign currencies right so today anybody in africa can easily most people in africa can easily buy usdt right especially in a country where your currency is very very volatile um that is super 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 valuable to protect you from inflation right yeah i know st stable coin usage in africa and i know latin america as well is, is one of the highest because of the the yeah, yeah. devaluations of the yeah. local currency exactly. so that's a big a big um use case exactly. all right and so can you tell us a little bit more about what can, we can expect from Quidax? Anything, um, any announcements or anything exciting coming up this year? Um, so for us, 
a lot of what we're doing, we're very African focused, right? Um, bringing the opportunities to the African market. So um, this year we'll be launching in four more African countries, right? Um, so we're very big on, you know, um, the English speaking markets, of course, but this year as well, we'll be welcoming the Francophone market into the Quidax community, right? And that's something that's really, really exciting for us because it enables us to, um, to, start working on that mission in other Afri um, Francophone countries, right? And other African markets. And it opens us to do um, a lot more interesting things across Africa, right? Amazing. Now, one last question. Since we are at Paris Blockchain Week, I wanted to ask, what is one of your favorite things and your least favorite things about Paris or France? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, the good one first or the bad one first? Good one. Okay, um, so I think Paris is very beautiful. It's it's picturesque. Is um, the history when you look at the city, when you look at the buildings, is absolutely amazing, absolutely breathtaking, right? So it it kind of humbles you, and you feel really small, like literally and figuratively, right? Um, to see um, you know the piece of history preserved in terms of building, and then the the architecture in um, Paris is absolutely amazing. Least favorite things, Paris smells. <laughs> right. Um, yes. You're right. You're right. I'm gonna agree with you. <laughs> yeah. So that's my least favorite. Okay. But it balances out. It balances out the good that wins the bad. Yeah. So yeah, love it. <laughs> okay. I like that. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Bucci. Enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you.